So, to make the faux wood, I'm going to use the iZinc Nature Paints, which are beautiful paints. They've got a really, really lovely smell to them as well, because they're all natural. And I'm using Torp, Water Green, and Glacier Blue, I think it is. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Torp across the top, straight out of the pouch, so I'm wasting nothing. And I'm using, this is just a decorator's brush, like a half inch long decorator's brush. Really cheap brush, don't waste anything. And I want to roughly paint this onto a piece of card. On this one, for the demo, I'm using a piece of A5 card. When I do this, it's probably why I've got a little bit too much paint. When I do this for myself, I usually do a whole A4 sheet, which is why I've got it on an A3 mat. But if you can see, I'm just going notch perfectly up and down that already starts to put a little bit of texture in because the paints are natural so they will hold their texture i'm then going to take a little bit of the glacier blue and put some down on my mat or on my card not an awful lot i'm going to take my brush take some of the paint and just paint it off so that i can drag my brush through this wet torp paint. Okay, so it's just doing almost like a dry brushing technique. A little bit through, just like that. And it gives that old weathered wood look. And again, it looks as if, if you use more of the color, it does have a look as if you've actually got wood that's been painted that's got old. So there we go. I'm then gonna take a little bit of the water green just like an O'Donnell. I, I don't know what it is. I love this colour and I'm not a green person normally. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and again, just work it onto my brush and I'm going to drag bits of the green through so that I've got some really nice texture. And you can see there, hopefully coming through, that you're getting all the lines up and down like you would have with wood. So we can leave it at that point. And what I would normally do is put it aside to dry. And it's a drying time of about 10 minutes. If you can put it in the sun, it's a drying time of about three minutes. And you can, if you want to, use a heat gun to actually finish that off and to actually dry it. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm gonna bring back a piece that I did earlier. So here we can see I've got that lines and that texture, but it's not quite bringing it through. So what I do here is I use dye ink and I use my walnut dye ink. It seems to be my favourite at the moment. And all I'm going to do is drag this down randomly over the top. And see it just and you'll you'll be you'll worry. If I do that, you'll worry that it's too dark. It's not. When it dries, it will dry in. So we just put the ink on and don't worry if you've got too much or these little lines. What I'm trying to do is trying to make it look like old wood. When that's dry, so this will take about two minutes or so for it to soak it into the paints. The paints, because they're not acrylics, they're not oil paints, they're not water paints, they're actually made of a hemp oil, they're natural paints of a natural product. Take the ink beautifully so it won't sit on the surface, it will soak in. Once it has, it will go like this. And all I've done is take, let's get the bigger piece in. All I've done is take a little bit, again, of the walnut ink on my dauber and just darken the edges and the corners. And it gives you that perfect old wood look. So if I bring in one of the demos that I did a little bit earlier, where we did the garden shed, if you can see here, I can drop that in as the perfect background so it works exactly right and gives me that old wood look. Or what I can do is I've cut these panels already so that I can slide one of them into the back of my wardrobe card. Another one on one side, I have another piece for the other side and I would then start to put a drawer on and things and I'm getting that old wood inside of a wardrobe look. So something a little bit different we can do, but I love using the paints like that and I use that as the backgrounds for so many different pieces of card. Mm -hmm.